All right, ladies and gents, welcome back today. I don't normally post a video on a Monday, so you're probably wondering why I'm posting today. As part of my whole ethos here on the channel, one of the things that I've always said to you is if I see something that's happening as something very drastic or an emergency, or I need to warn you about something within the financial world predominantly, is that I would post a video to warn you about that and I would do it as quickly as I possibly can. So here's basically what's going on and why you need to be aware of this. And we're gonna be talking predominantly about crypto today. So if you don't own crypto, does that mean that you don't need to see this video and it doesn't mean anything? Absolutely not. Because I do feel as though this is showing us a good lesson and that it's going to have a spillover potentially into the financial markets. And even if it doesn't on this occasion, then the patterns that you're seeing right now will eventually happen in the financial world as well. So this is a great lesson that we can all learn from. So what am I talking about then? Well, I know that many of you don't follow the crypto news and don't follow the crypto markets and don't trade and things like that. But there is something very, very serious that has happened. So if you do have any crypto holdings, especially if they are on platforms, then you really should take some action immediately to mitigate any risk that you might have here. Okay, so what am I talking about? Well, I'm predominantly today focusing on the collapse of FDX and the other platform that has collapsed as a result called BlockFi. Now, you'll probably be familiar with these platforms because the biggest financial YouTubers on the planet have just been shilling these things, just pumping them for the last year or, or even longer. This video is brought to you by FTX. Go to metkevin.com FTX to learn more and sign up to get free crypto every time you trade. Check it out. Link down below at metkevin.com slash FTX. This is BlockFi's Bitcoin Rewards credit card where you can earn Bitcoin anytime you buy something. That's why I'm really proud to stand behind today's sponsor, FTX. They're one of the largest U.S. regulated cryptocurrency exchanges in the world. If anybody's watching, interested in BlockFi, make sure to go to metkevin.com slash BF. That's my BlockFi affiliate link. <laughs> now, I just want to say full disclosure here. I have never promoted any of these platforms that have collapsed. I was approached many times to do sponsorships for these platforms. And every time I said no, even once I was offered $20,000 to do a sponsorship for one of these platforms. And I, I said no, because I just didn't trust the platform. So why would I be foolish enough to do a sponsored ad, a sponsored video for one of these platforms? for this exact situation, and both of them have now gone, by the way, to occur, and then you would never trust me again. So I, I just think it's crazy. Some of the biggest YouTubers on the planet, uh, meet Kevin, uh, Graham Stephan, Andre Jeek, all these guys promoted this and made millions of dollars in sponsorships from it. Um, at their watchers' expense. I think it's just madness. But let's have a look at what's happened. And, and, and here we can, I've got these books on the tables just to give you a little bit of a lesson here with all of this. So what we're hearing is that these collapses of the platforms are new. You keep hearing this word new and that people just didn't see it coming. Well, actually it's not new and a lot of people did see it coming. Why? Because it's a simple liquidity crisis. It's the same model that we have seen going back to, this book is by Coleman, Our Mysterious Panics, talks about the 1800s, the panics in the 1800s, liquidity crises as well. Manias, panics and crashes, another one. It talks about all this stuff. This stuff goes back hundreds and hundreds of years. What has happened is nothing new. So you have this guy, this genius billionaire, and he's, you know, the most generous billionaire on the planet and, and all this sort of stuff. And whenever I've seen any interviews or seen the platform, I've never had confidence behind that platform because I just couldn't get my head around how they were making so much money, how they were able to offer such incredible returns and, and all the other stuff they were doing. It just didn't make sense to me. And now it's come out, this whole thing has just un unraveled and he is in the wind. He's done some a runner somewhere. Some people are saying he's in the Bahamas. Others saying he's flown to Argentina. There's been a hack as well on the platform. So any anyone who did have their funds still on the platform, that money has been hacked and withdrawn very quickly. There's a lot of speculation, but 
the, the general consensus from other crypto experts and platforms, they think it was the management team themselves. A lot of them are pointing the finger at the CEO himself. I mean, this is just a massive shizzle storm, shall we say. It is absolutely just unbelievable. People have lost not just millions, but in the billions now of dollars. And so many of these celebrities who were pumping and shilling FTX have now lost a lot of their money. So many YouTubers as well said that they had all their money. I remember Andre Jeek saying he had all of his money in FTX. Why would you, why would you do that? Why would you put all of your money onto a crypto platform? And this reminds me a little bit of the Evergrande or Evergrande crisis where I really dug into that before a lot of everyone else was doing that research. That was one of my original research pieces where I said, hold on, their liabilities are double their assets. So it doesn't make any difference if they're gonna sell this, they're gonna sell that, they're gonna raise funds here. It makes no difference. If you're, let's say you as a person, if you've got 200,000 in debt and you've got 100,000 in assets, well, you're, you're bankrupt. You, your net worth is minus 100. It's pretty simple. Well, the same thing has now come out with FTX. They really had no money. They had more liabilities than they did have assets. And they had all of these subsidiaries. It's all very dodgy Alameda research and, and everything else that was going on. Super, super dodgy. Binance were coming in because they were going to help out. They since did a review and realized that actually that what I've just realized here and what I've just mentioned, that this whole thing was just a massive sham. Uh, I don't think it would be wrong to even call this whole thing a Ponzi scheme in terms of what some of these platforms have been doing. So anyway, let me just get to the point here. If you have crypto still on these exchanges, my top advice to you right now, and again, I gain nothing from this. I'm not, uh, you know, I don't have an affiliate or anything like that. I don't have a sponsor with any of them. My advice to you, honestly, as a friend, would be to pull your crypto off those platforms and put it into cold storage. You should all have a, a cold storage wallet anyway. Take your crypto, doesn't matter if you've only got a small amount, put it into cold storage and do it now. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, Neil, you're going to cause a run on the platforms just by saying this. Well, no, because if they are honestly telling the truth and they say that whatever crypto is there, they have all of the assets to back it up one for one, it won't cause a run, it won't cause a collapse. I honestly don't believe that these platforms have got all of the money. FTX was supposed to be, you know, the, the golden boy in the industry and they had all of this excess reserves to cover every one dollar of crypto. And it was just a massive lie. They didn't have anywhere near that. And now you're hearing all of these other platforms reassuring all of their customers. This is again a red flag. The books, the history tells you when all of these platforms or banks run, run around and say, oh, don't worry, we've got loads of liquidity, we need to put your mind at ease, that is usually when you should panic and, and remove whatever you've got. And this same lesson applies to your bank account as well. Why do I say don't keep all of your money in one bank account? Why do you think the government doesn't say, we'll insure every single penny in your bank account? No, they say we'll insure this amount under our compensation program. So th this same situation is going to occur eventually in the banking world as well where the banks, and we know they don't have the liquidity, for every one dollar, pound, euro in the bank, they lend that out multiple, multiple times. They don't have enough liquidity if there was a big collapse, and they are all interconnected now. Just like all these crypto platforms are all interconnected, so are the banking sector. So you would be very unwise to leave all of your money in just one bank, spread it out, as I've said multiple times before, and if you ever think that, that there's a crisis coming, do what I've just said with crypto. Pull your money out of the bank, stuff it under your mattress, even if it's only for a week, while you just say, okay, is there a crisis here? Is there not a crisis here? If there isn't, take the money, put it back in the bank. It's as simple as that. Now, it's the same with crypto. Even if you're getting staking rewards and everything else right now, Again, I would pull your crypto out, put it onto your cold storage just for a little while until this all blows over. If everything's fine, put it back into your platforms, carry on your staking rewards and things like that. But right now, 
Honestly, I'm saying this as a friend, there's no financial incentive for me to say this. I would pull out your liquidity, pull out what you've got on the platforms and just keep it safe until this whole thing blows over. And if you're one of the people who has been affected and you've lost a lot of money on these platforms, uh, my heart really goes out to you. It, it, it really does. But if you've got crypto still on other platforms, do yourself a favor, pull it off for the time being. And whoever got you into it, whoever the YouTuber was, well, A, unsubscribe, make sure everyone knows who it was that got you into it. And you just never know. There might be some recourse in the future. People may be held to account for all of this. But bottom line, the FTX money, if you add crypto in there, it has gone. Their liabilities are bigger than their assets. And this seems to be uh, systemic in that a lot of the other platforms are having similar problems right now. And I can tell you that I use three platforms. I won't say which because someone will try and hack my wallet. But well, not that it matters too much now. But I have pulled as of right now recording all of my crypto off the platforms, even if I was getting very, very high staking rewards. I've pulled all of my crypto. It is in cold storage. I've converted some as well into Bitcoin just to be sure. But this highlights another major issue for everyone here. And that is you've got to be diversified in your assets. Don't be the person who has got 100% of their money in one thing or one, you know, Dogecoin or some, you know, very small crypto asset. You've got to be diversified. I am highly diversified and most of my private clients or Patreon members are also highly diversified uh, between tangible assets, intangible, recurring income assets, non-recurring. Uh, you've got so many different asset classes. You've got to be spread out. Don't just put all of your money into one asset class because this is such a good example now of so, uh, so many celebrities as well you're seeing in the, in the media at the moment. So many celebrities had all of their net worth on FTX. Why? I have no idea why they would do that. But again, they're celebrities, they're not financial experts. But regardless of how much money you've got, make sure you're diversified and make sure it's not all in one bank account as well. And I think I'll leave you with that today as just a really good lesson that this has highlighted to all of us that this platform that was meant to be as safe as houses, as everyone used to say, this was the safest platform. You know, he was an advisor to the SEC and the government and on regulations and crypto and all this. And the guy has now done a runner. <laughs> What I mean, you can't make this stuff up. It's like there's probably going to be a movie made about this in the future. So uh, let's learn from this lesson, everyone. And if you have got any crypto on these exchanges, that would be my advice to you all. I would take it off there just temporarily until this whole thing blows over. Thanks for watching today. Take care. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow.